<laughs> Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Tabby. Today we're going to talk about uh, a couple of useful tips uh, while your car's sort of sat around, sat on the drive, doing nothing through obviously this lockdown. Seeing as we are obviously temporary, temporary, temp <laughs> cannot speak. Uh, temporary, temporary, really. Someone needs to help me here with this word. <laughs> Closed. Anyway, for the uh, interim. I think we'll go with that word. Uh, yeah, so while we are closed intermediately, uh, we are unable to obviously maintain your cards for you. So just, like I said, a couple of useful tips uh, we can look at to, you know, help, you know, stop you having any brake seizing up, corrosion to the brake discs, uh, the tyres sort of getting flat spots. One of the main things you really need to do is, uh, you know, run the car where and when you can. Um, so if you, you know, you're doing your essential trips to the shops, uh, if, generally if you're working um, every day, then you're not really going to run into these kind of problems. Um, but, you know, if you're on lockdown in your house, then, um, you know, you will have issues with a car where it's just, you know, stood still and not moving. You're going to have issues with the brake discs corroding. So obviously to try and alleviate that, you know, if you take your car around the block, applying the brakes, uh, just keeping the brake discs clean and making sure, you know, that there's no build up of corrosion on the, especially if you're keeping the car out, outdoors, it's not, and it's not stored in a garage, they're going to be uh, more exposed to moisture. Uh, with things like that, they can obviously cause brake calipers to see. So, you know, keeping those things functioning, just getting it out, maybe once a week, even if it's just to take it around the block, um, then that's great. You know, if you can take it on a longer drive, if it's essential, then great. Uh, you know, you can put a bit of charge into the battery that way. If not, you can, you know, let it idle, let it run on the drive um, for, you know, 15, 20 minutes, just to try and put a little bit of charge in there. Obviously stay with the car and make sure that, you know, nobody steals it. Um, other things obviously by helping the car move you know you, you're not going to get sort of flat spots in the tires um, other things to check uh, obviously your levels making sure your oil level your water level your washer levels are all you know topped up and where they should be um, checking your tire pressures that's a big one if you've got any sort of small leaks or just over time you know the tire pressures can sort of go down a little bit so keeping on top of those making sure you're running with correctly inflated tires will just you know help your tires in the long run um, checking obviously your oil you know everybody knows you know you need the right amount of oil in there to you know that's really fucking pretty, isn't it? making sure you've got you know enough oil in the car the right amount of oil in the car you know, is, is healthy, not to, to, to have not enough oil in there, you know, you're gonna cause damage to to the engine internally. Um, the coolant, making sure you've got enough coolant in there, same again, because it's required and, and, and you're trying to stop any damage happening. Um, you know, get a family member, if you can, to come out, check your lights, make sure that they're all functioning correctly. So then when we do come out of, you know, uh, this terrible time then you know your car's you know going to be up, up for the job um, and roadworthy at least uh, if your car's due an MOT from the 30th of March onwards um, currently you're getting an extra six months applied to that MOT uh, you might not see that go on you know if you looked at online till about three or four days before it's actually due so that's just one thing to you know pay attention of and, and, and just keep notice of it's not necessary to you know have that MOT done until you know after that extra six months that you've, you've got on there uh, if you're wanting to get it done and there's somewhere open um, you know it's probably not essential for you to do that at that particular point so you know maybe maybe just wait until the six months is is over um, yeah, so oh, other than that, guys, um, you know, one of the things, the main things, you know, just making sure you run the car around the block if you can. If you can't, you know, 
leave your car parked without the handbrake on um, if possible and leave it in gear if you're on a slope obviously it's not necessarily going to be possible for you so um you know obviously don't do that right so guys um you know thanks for tuning in on the channel again we're really excited really can't wait you know to bring you some content of us out you know driving the cars making the cars go fast uh, but unfortunately you know this is pretty much all you stuck with at the moment and uh, we're just trying to obviously feed you with content to just try and you know make your lockdown a little bit easier um just hope you guys are all staying safe out there um and you know thanks thanks for tuning in if there's anything you know you want us to talk about like we said before um not everything's possible with the current scenario situation current scenario whichever way word you want to use um but you know we will look at everything every comment and we you know we'll consider you know making those videos for you guys um what we'll do is in the description we'll do a bit of a write-up of some of the things that we've discussed on the video um just a few useful tips you know thanks for tuning in